this could be pretty dense, so prepare yourself. In the next minute, I'm gonna give you a crash course in how AI platforms like ChatGPT interact with the internet. You don't Google anything anymore. You go to ChatGPT, you go to Perplexity, the world has changed. If you're building a brand or you're a creator and you wanna get your name out there, you're gonna to wanna to know this because you're gonna to wanna to know how to get in front of billions of people. When OpenAI first created ChatGPT, they trained it on loads of publicly available information from articles to publications like Wikipedia. They did that over a specific time period in order to allow the model to understand natural language basically English. The time period when it got trained is really important. If you ask ChatGPT a question with something that has recency associated with it, like for instance, one of the best restaurants in New York at the moment, it needs to go do something else. It can't just use its existing data set. ChatGPT then uses a technique called retrieval augmented generation or RAG for short to tap into external databases like the internet. This is where the time period piece comes in. The model was only trained on data from a specific time period. It's not trained on live data. So using RAG allows the model to tap into Google and Bing's search engine and go collect all the relevant articles associated with the question that you asked. The model does this because it's the easiest way to filter the information around the question that you've asked. Like, ChatGPT is not gonna go off and try and filter the whole internet. It then takes all of the most relevant pieces of information and articles and ranks them on relevancy and authority. The top results are then fed back into the model's context window. It uses this context window to answer your question in the most relevant way possible, taking into account the nuance of the language that you've used to make sure that the answer is as close to perfect as possible. You could basically say ChatGPT is a wrapper over Google, filtering out all of the crap that you get when you search on Google. Hopefully you learned something in the last minute. Well played if you made it to the end.